All right, what's up, guys? It's Costa here, and I am trying a new format for my commentaries or rants or story videos. You guys have always told me to do more webcam videos or live cam videos. And that's exactly what I'm going to try and start doing. I want to bring gaming back to my main channel. I've done a whole lot of IRL videos, and we'll continue to do so. We have a whole bunch of those planned. But I've always wanted this to be like a gaming-based channel, so I'm going to strive to make a whole lot more gaming content. And one of the new things I want to bring to this channel is kind of like the live com video, where I'm actually going to sit here and play gun game live and kind of like comment or tell a story or rant about something. Because I want to get back into gaming. All my original goals that I set out originally when I said I was gonna start doing more commentaries are still true I still want to game more I still want to review games I still want to play all the new Call of Duties that come out and do all that stuff because you know this used to be like such a passion of mine while I used to play Call of Duty like forever but obviously everyone's interests change over time and obviously I've picked up vlogging and vlogging has kind of become the thing I do on YouTube now that doesn't mean I have to only do that I want to make more gaming content and this is kind of like one of the ways I'm gonna start doing more of it but today I wanted to tell you guys kind of like the story of my first day in college or like my first experience in college. Now if you guys aren't already in college or don't know like I guess what to expect, basically if you moved into a state school you're going to attend a state school, you'll usually move into the dorms as they force you to move into them bitches when you're a freshman. You usually can't bring a car either so they really kind of force you to like stay within your little confines of all the other freshmen and really immerse you into the college lifestyle which is a good idea because like I guess the most important thing about college really isn't like classes or even the degree, it's really the experience of college because the rest of that shit you can learn somewhere else or you know I guess you can't get the degree anywhere else but, but you can kind of like get all that other knowledge or just like figure the rest of that shit out it's all in fucking books but like the experience of college of being like in a place with a whole bunch of people doing the exact same thing as you a whole bunch of young minds kind of like getting together and like learning what they want to do with their lives or what they're interested in that's like something you can't replace anywhere else and I was one of those kids that was fortunate enough to do exactly that my parents have been saving for my school and my grandparents have been saving for my, my tuition and room and board and all that stuff like for my whole life so going to college was like always a thing I was meant to do nonetheless education was always like something that we knew that we had to do like like my parents expectations didn't stop at high school I was always gonna go to college and my first school was UNC Greensboro. If you guys don't know what that means, it's University of North Carolina at Greensboro. It wasn't the school I had originally wanted to go to. I originally wanted to go to UNC Charlotte because a lot of my friends weren't in college and I wanted to be close to them. For reasons I'll get into, that's obviously a really bad idea even though I did end up attending that school eventually. But I was one of those kids that probably wasn't ready for college and I'll kind of get into that a little bit later. I was not ready for that much responsibility and I was kind of a dipshit and wasted my first year in school. It's something my parents made me pay for dearly or kind of like proved that I wasn't going to do it again again before they like reinvested into me going to the school but yeah but UNC Greensboro was about an hour away from where I live it was about an hour and a half drive from where I was from being Charlotte god damn it you fucking dick now I am rusty I am doing this live but I haven't actually played Call of Duty in a while just ignore that I'm gonna get back into this game I'm gonna get back you know I'm, I'm looking forward to you know I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare Remastered coming out I'm looking forward to Infinite Warfare coming out believe it or not there's actually a whole bunch of games that are coming out that I can't wait to play. And I'm going to do this kind of format of video on them shits too. It's not just going to be Call of Duty. But yeah, anyways, I went to that school. I didn't really know a fucking soul that went there. I think there was only one other person from my high school that was going there. And I really didn't know her in school very well. Like, she wasn't in my circle of friends. She, I just knew that she went there. And we, like, met up maybe once to say hi. Man, god damn it. Just to say hi and shit like that, but it wasn't someone that like I was gonna instantly be buddies with and shit like that. But anyway, so if you don't know, they move you into these damn dorms, and they have like your first whole week planned there. Most of the time people go there like a good week before classes start, and they fucking drown you in pamphlets and all these other little check mark sheets where you have to go do all this shit. So basically your whole entire week is planned out. But one thing that really did suck about my first day at college or my first like week at college is my roommate didn't actually show up for the first two weeks of school. So like when everybody else was like all paired up and buddied up with their dorm mate and they, and they got to go around campus and do all these things and check out all these events and go look at all the facilities and like just basically check out the whole entire campus which on these state schools are fucking huge. I was forced to do this alone at first because my dude fucking I don't even remember his damn name. I actually never got to know him too well because by the time he actually did show up I'd already made friends. Don't worry, there is a happy ending in this story. I didn't just spend my whole fucking first week of college alone. Thank God. Because those first couple days were fucking rough. I would just kind of like go downstairs and like hang out with people and stuff like that. But never really actually made a buddy or a friend. But that was just for like the first like 48 hours. And I spent most of the time on my phone anyways, calling my girlfriend and calling friends at home and shit like that. So I wasn't making much of an effort anyways. And how I eventually made like, I guess my first group of friends or my first like buddies that I would go do stuff with in college was actually, I think it was like the third or the fourth day I was at school. 
We had those like dorm room group showers or some shit like that before you guys think this is getting weird. It's not. One thing I have to say about dorm room showers is there's just not a whole lot of room to put shit and everything's fucking gross and wet and shit like that. So basically you would usually change into a towel, leave your dorm room, you bring your little bucket of fucking shit, go wash yourself, do whatever the fuck you had to do in the bathroom and then you'd use your towel and then obviously wear it back to your room. But couldn't really wear your clothes into there because if you did, you'd have nowhere to fucking put them that wasn't like secure because you're literally in a stall you don't want to just leave your shit on the fucking sink where anybody can like go and steal it so this is exactly what i did but i made one fatal mistake and that is i forgot to bring the key to my dorm room so i unknowingly locked myself out and i didn't even realize this until i had already gotten into the bathroom taken the shower i got back to my room and realized fuck I did not bring my key, and I am now locked out of my fucking dorm room in like the middle of the day, too. You know me, I'm not getting up at like 9, 10 o'clock and taking a shower. This is like fucking 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like on my third or fourth day of college, and I'm trapped in the fucking hallway of a dorm room in nothing but a towel. This- uh, Alright, well I guess fucking I just got kicked. What the hell? So at this point, I've hit a new low. I have no friends, I don't even know anyone at this school, I am trapped in the hallway in nothing but a towel, and I have a bucket of wet shit. Luckily, the people right across from my room in the dorm room had just like randomly opened their door to go get water or some shit and saw me standing there in my fucking towel, just like, completely clueless on what the fuck I'm supposed to do next. Because this is a dorm room, it's not like I can go fucking to the front desk and they're gonna have a guy that can get me the key and shit like that. That's not how these things are laid out. It's like they have a whole tower full of rooms and you've actually got to go to like the dorm administration office that's like a good mile away from the dorms to go do anything related to the dorms. Which is pretty much what I was contemplating doing. Like not only did I not have any friends at this school, I was going to be that kid that in the first like three days of fucking school I was going to have to walk across campus in a towel in the middle of the day. Because I had no fucking idea what to do. But these guys, they kind of saw me just standing there and they were like nice. They didn't make me stand there for very long. It was like a minute or something like that and one of them kind of just like peeped his head out of the door and said he like, Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Having a rough day? And I was like, yeah, I fucking, I got trapped out of this fucking shit. And I wasn't exactly excited that I got noticed right away anyways, because like, it wasn't just a bunch of dudes in that room. They had their girlfriends in there. So it was like three dudes and two girls just staring at me, like fucking standing there in a towel. And they're all kind of giggling. They're not fucking roasting and busting out laughing, but I'm, but I'm obviously stuck out in the fucking hallway in a towel. And that, well, that's just funny. Ask anyone. Damn, you just got shit on. Oh man, fucking shotguns. Oh ho, stole your kill. Oh, and then killed you too, you're demoralized. But eventually they invited me into their dorm room to kind of chill and wait for the like house cleaner, I guess. There was a woman that comes by like three or four times a day that kind of cleans the hallways, cleans the bathrooms, and generally makes sure that the facilities aren't going to total shit. This is a fresh room dorm room, so there's a high probability of that happening. They told me that eventually she'll come by and she'll have a key and that she'll let me into the fucking room. Cause and they were actually sitting there playing Halo multiplayer on a fucking split screen. They had like four little tiny screens and they were just running around fucking killing each other. And, and not to make shit completely fucking awkward, they gave me a controller like right away to like let me play. And I was completely ass at this shit. I had never played it before. But I had kind of like a natural talent for it. Not that you can see that evidence by this video. But eventually I made friends with them, them being like right across the hall from my dorm. I finally had friends and they were kind of like my buddies throughout my whole time at UNC Greensboro. We had a very good time. I did not do very good at school. I think I've mentioned that in another commentary that I did not perform very well at that school. Eventually ended up moving home and going to community college to get my GPA up and eventually got into UNC Charlotte, the school I had originally wanted to go to. And one of the main reasons why I didn't do too good at UNC Greensboro is because I just spent every single weekend driving home and hanging out with my friends from high school and seeing my girlfriend and stuff like that. I was not very committed to Greensboro and that place was a shithole and, and if you live there, I'm sorry because that place sucks. Yeah, like a week or two later, Fazir, I think it was his name, finally showed up. We never really clicked and I already had friends by then, so we never really became buddy-buddy and eventually I moved off campus anyway, so. But that was kind of like my first week experience. It was a little lonely and a little traumatic and I missed home the whole time and it took like every ounce of me not to just drive home and see my girlfriend or hang out with my friends. But yeah, I did want to kind of take a second at the end of this video to kind of talk to you guys about my main channel. As you guys might have noticed, I'm approaching 1 million subscribers and I wanted to, you know, basically tell you guys that I am going to be bringing gaming back to this channel. Recently, I've been uploading mainly like IRL videos and not that I'm going to stop doing those because we love making them and I think it's a great way to interact with you guys. I definitely wanted to bring back gaming to my channel in the form of like all these stories and rants and commentaries and shit like that. But I will be doing them in this format from now on so it'll be kind of like a live com with a webcam and shit like that. And I do think this kind of like raw formats, oh man dude two piece. I do think like this raw format is going to be like better for how I like make daily content on this channel. I am going to try to get back to daily content on my main channel. I'm not going to say it's going to happen right away because I do a whole lot of stuff with my vlogging channel and obviously we've got a whole bunch of things coming up with TK and we're doing a whole bunch of traveling over the next couple weeks. 
But in general, I do want to bring back kind of like these live com style videos where I just kind of do a commentary or a bitch or rant about stuff like that. Cause that's really just all I really want to do on YouTube. Like I tell you guys a whole bunch about like, you know, what we're doing and stuff like that in the vlogs. And I get a lot of my creativity out editing those things. The only thing I don't really do on YouTube that I feel like I could do a whole lot of and do pretty well is bitch and rant and moan about shit. I've typically like stayed away from doing that, even though I feel like that's something I could easily do because that's what I do with my friends all the time. And I feel like that's a content type that I would be good at. So I'd be expecting a whole lot more of that shit. Please leave me some like rant topics or questions and things like that that I can react to in videos or things I can respond to in videos. And I definitely want to do that. I really love that about the IRL videos is it gives me a chance to kind of like interact with you guys and kind of answer your questions and see, you know, and just talk about things that are concerning you guys. Because I live a pretty simple life and stay pretty busy. I don't exactly know about all the shit that's going on in the world, but I guarantee you I could have an opinion about it. And plus it'll give me a chance to get better at Call of Duty because I'm fucking straight ass at this shit. But please leave a like if you guys are enjoying the live com live gameplay style video change. But it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I need to go edit and then go to sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys tomorrow.